Hi folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the uh, color mix function in ClickView. And it's, it wouldn't be well known, so I'm, that's why I'm going to show it. If we go into the properties of a pivot table, we've got a couple of dimensions. We're actually going to choose the imagery uh, transaction ID dimension. And we're going to go into background color. Instead of typing in an expression, we're actually going to use the inbuilt click view color mix uh, wizard. So click on the wizard, click next, and we're going to paste in the expression, which is the expression within the chart. Um, we're going to untick auto normalize, and we're going to say anything over 100 is going to be green. And let's say anything. Um, Between three and hundred is uh, we'll change the color to white. Anything lower than two, let's say, is red. Now normally you'd have different numbers in here, but with the um, the data set that I have, I'm choosing kind of weird and random numbers just so you can see the the effect of the color mix wizard. So if I click next, now uh, click finish, it then creates a an expression um, again you can go and kind of scrutinize what, what the expression is doing I'm not going to worry about it for this video we we'll click OK and now if we apply the color mix uh, wizard change that we've made the background color of the imagery transaction ID dimension will change based on these values and again I use the expression which is this expression here I just copied it before I started the video so I press Control and C, and I use that as the expression to change these colors. So you can see if um, because the value is three or the quantity is equal to three, there's no color. Uh, if it's over 100, it's changed to green, and if it's less than two, it's red. So you can kind of um, you can see where you can uh, get some benefit of using the Color Mix Wizard. Um, I just thought I'd point it out. I hope it helps. Uh, I'll see you next video. Cheers.